So it's Friday at Badminton, the calm before the storm, I would say. And as you all wanted, we have got the favourite rider, Harry Much. So, Harry, how does it feel to be the rider that everyone wanted to interview? Yeah, it wasn't expected, really, but uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool, to be honest, yeah. No, you've got such an amazing story. So, um, first of all, tell us a little bit about your horse. What's his stable name and how long have you had him? So, he's called HD Bronze. He's Fernando in the stable. Uh, he's 13 by Limerick. Um, we've had him for seven years, but I've only been riding him now. This is my third season on him. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> so a lot's happened in the three years. <laughs> Cross country is definitely his strength. Mm. Him, dressage, he's got the potential for it, but he's not there yet. Yeah. He still needs a couple more years. Yeah. How do you find the whole badminton experience in general? I mean, we're standing in front of one of the most amazing houses probably in the whole country. It hasn't actually sunk in yet. Yeah. Um, I think until I go down the centre line, yeah. then, yeah, it, uh, it's just amazing. I mean, you don't get any other event like this, so, yeah. yeah. And the cross country, um, I mean, loads of riders have said it's big, it's bold, but the horses should be able to read it out there. What, what are your thoughts? Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah. it's huge, it's technical, it's, it's a long galloping track, and, uh, but I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a big galloping horse that's got a huge jump so yeah. I have a lot of trust in him yeah. um, and as long as I do my job I'm sure he'll do his right just yeah. every time I take him out cross country he just he fires himself out that start box and he mm. doesn't want to stop he just wants to keep going all day so mm. I mean that's what you want to take out there isn't it yes yeah. so and being 21 the youngest rider here I mean is it are you a bit in awe of all the other riders or do you know sort of a few of them already from other events yeah, I know a few, um, but I mean, I'm just here to do my job. Um, whatever happens, happens, and you sort of learn from it and mm -hmm. take it to the next event, really. I'm just here to have a bit of fun, and mm. whatever happens, whether it's a good result, whatever, it's been an experience, and it's been an amazing experience so far, so, yeah. And the vibe back at the lorries, are people sort of talking to each other, are there any parties going on, or is it a little bit sort of everyone's hiding away in their lorries? Yeah, I mean, we went to the cocktail party last night, but that was pretty pretty chilled and <laughs> nice and calm. So it was amazing to get into Babington House and see what it's like in there. Um, but it's been it's been pretty chilled so far. I want to just enjoy it and not going mad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I see you've got your mum here supporting you. Tell us about your team here with you. Have you got who's helping you? Yeah, I've got a fantastic team behind me. My parents are just amazing. Um, they're always with me they're always supporting me so it's just it's amazing to have that backing uh, it really helps when you have that team that are always behind you it's sort of there's always someone there to mm -hmm. help you around and someone just to if there's anything to say and do there's always someone there for you mm -hmm. so especially somewhere like this you always feel like you've got that reassurance of yeah. knowing knowing which way to go and even if it's like there's silly little things mm. because you're here you don't think straight sometimes so yeah. <laughs> but I mean yeah it's just it's it really does help and after this weekend now you're a badminton rider are you still gonna be mucking out at home yeah I mean th that always happens so that's not gonna change um, yeah I think you've got to keep yourself grounded and what well, nothing changes it's just another event really yes it might be it might be badminton, but I just got to think straight and think it's just another event and treat it like one, really. Yeah. But yeah. And being so young in here, what would you say to sort of 13, 14 year olds who are starting out on their British eventing journey or their FEI journey? What would you say to them who they want to aspire to be here when they're your age or maybe a bit older? Yeah, I mean, just sort of feel your way along, really. Um, move up levels when you feel like you're moving up. Obviously, this is quite a big like last this time last year, I hadn't even done a four star. So, um, but I'm on a horse that he just goes out and he keeps doing so well for me. And he might have had little blips in his record, but those records aren't really actually anything to look at. Yeah. Um, he's just been so strong every time. So, probably feel your way along and you know take your time and assess every event and feel are you ready to step up? Are you ready to do it? Mm -hmm. um, maybe ask other people's opinions that was a big help for me mm -hmm. there's a few local riders that said you know mm. if you can get the qualification definitely go for it you're on a good enough horse so do it mm. um yeah like and remind me of his stable name again he's called fernando, fernando fab. 
Well, can we have loads of hashtag Team Fernando, please, on Horse and Country? Um, and we're going to wish you all the best of luck for you and your gorgeous horse. Thank you.